Mere seconds measuring the time from when police pulled over Dante Wright to when the traffic stop turned deadly. For perspective. What are your first reactions upon reviewing that video? We first turned to former police officer and trainer Mylan Masson. My first reaction is it was a terrible accident. Masson says, remember, we were not there. We don't know what happened before the video started recording. We don't know Wright's or the officer's thoughts, but... Typically, you would want to bring the suspect back to your own car or to the trunk of their car. That would be a good procedure. A procedure not followed for reasons Masson notes we do not yet know. Was that by the book to actually put her physical hands on him? If he starts to move away and then the other officer uh, comes up and touches him or tries to uh, keep him under control, that is a, a right command. Then a question about Officer Potter's reach into the car. Typically, we don't want to enter the person's car. We don't want to put our hand in there because it could get shut by the door. And from that dissection. It's another sort of gut-wrenching tragedy. A different analysis. As a professor of criminal justice, James Densley also acknowledges the unknown. But based on his research, he believes traffic stops simply end too often in confrontation. For me, it's a case of could we use our better judgment to think of alternatives that we don't have to go through this process right here, right now, on the street during this traffic stop? Could we not just follow up later when the situation would be a lot calmer. Carla Holt, CARE 11 News. And while James Densley says police should avoid people pull, pulling people over when possible, Mylan Masson points out traffic stops have prevented crimes from happening. Both agree police departments and the community must together review how to make the process safer for everyone.